The screen capture is being recorded on a 3440 by 1440 ultra wide monitor in a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. Sharing my screen to go over a gaming news article, you'll see, well, that's pretty legible. However, I have all this screen real estate on the sides. So if I'm playing a game, you're missing out on a lot of the gameplay. It's almost like you don't have peripheral vision. Then of course there's this option. This is the native resolution of my monitor scaled down to 1080p. There's this option. This is my native resolution and aspect ratio. And then there's this option, which is a 21 by nine aspect ratio scaled down to a traditional 16 by nine widescreen with a little bit of black bordering on the bottom and top, which a lot of streamers will use for things like overlays or their social information. At the end of the day, it really is up to you, the streamer or content creator to figure out what sacrifices you are willing to make and which ones you simply are not. I'm gonna go over all the methods in Streamlabs OBS. These will work in OBS as well. We are gonna mess with our base and scaled resolutions to find out which one of these methods is right for you and your setup, or maybe an ultra wide just isn't right for you. Let's get it. Alrighty guys, so this is Streamlabs OBS. I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the music just to skosh here. So down here in the bottom left, which guess what, you can't see. I'm gonna drag this over here. Down here in the bottom left, there is a cog icon. This is gonna be your settings for Streamlabs OBS. Now this will work virtually identical for OBS as Streamlabs OBS is literally just the base OBS with a additional layer of plug-on, plug-ons, plug plugins or add-ons in addition. So we are not gonna be messing with any of our output settings over here. I am gonna have a separate tutorial walking you guys step-by-step step from the very beginning, installing a fresh install of OBS or Streamlabs OBS to getting everything set up for screen recording or live streaming. But today we're focusing primarily right here in the video tab. This is our comfort zone for the day so our base canvas is currently 2560 by 1440 which is not the native resolution of this monitor this monitor is a 3440 by 1440 21 by 9 aspect ratio ultra wide monitor and if you are streaming you're going to be outputting in either 720p or 1080p depending on your rig and also the um, amount of viewership that you're trying to target a lot of people can't view 1080p content depending on their home internet and uh, the bit rate that's available to them. But this is actually the method that I do prefer. Granted, I do have to drag my screen around, but I primarily cover gaming news articles, so I can kind of just drag it over and most of the information is gonna be right here. And then I have my webcam over here. However, this does get real tricky when I start actually doing some gameplay because you're missing out on a good portion of the screen. That's not acceptable. Now, what you can do is right click on the image and go to transform and then go to fit to screen. And as you see now, you have these black borders here. I'm gonna go ahead and move my webcam and frame. And now everything is in picture as you can see here. But what, but what a lot of streamers that use ultra wide monitors are going to do is use this blank space up here with these black borders, these bezels, if you will, to put a lot of their stream information, such as their socials or their top donations or their um, their subscriber count, maybe just the cool overlay or wallpaper with their theme colors. These are things you're gonna have to get creative with to make up for this, this hindrance that we have to deal with with an ultra wide monitor. Another option that you do have would be to right click, go to transform yet again, and go stretch to screen. And now as you can see, this is stretched out here. Oh, oh God, I got just my frame and not my entire webcam. There we go, move that sucker right up there. So as you can see, this is filling up the majority of the screen, but now it looks vertically stretched, which is not ideal by any stretch of the meaning. <laughs> Now, I did have to stop recording for just a moment and make some changes because you cannot edit the value of your uh, base and scaled resolutions or make any streaming or screen recording changes or edits while you are live or screen recording. But now, as you can see, we are at the base canvas of 3440 by 1440, which is the native resolution of this monitor, and we are scaled down to 1080p, which is probably what you're going to be targeting if you are streaming live. Now, once you have selected this base canvas and the scaled output, you will right click select transform and then fit to screen. And if you click stretch to screen, it's gonna do the same thing as fit to screen because it is taking up the majority of the screen. Now, when I edit this video in DaVinci Resolve or even uh, if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro or maybe you edit your videos on a Apple product and you're using Final Cut Pro, you are also going to have to edit the footage in the native resolution. So that's another layer of, uh, that's another 
layer of stinkiness in this onion that you have to peel through is not only do you have to screen record in the resolution with the stretching and the scaling that you like perfectly, but then when you edit, you have to make sure that also you're editing in 1340 by 1440 or 1920 by 1080 p or whatever you're scaling out to. Your base canvas won't really matter because what's being screen recorded or captured and then exported is going to be right here with your scaled resolution, which in this case is 1080p. Then you do have this option here. This is 1340, 1440 not scaled at all. I mean, you have to choose a scaled resolution, but literally this is the native resolution. Now, you are not going to be streaming at 1440. Now, certain platforms like YouTube do allow higher resolutions while you're live as well as higher bit rates. However, Twitch caps you to 6,000. However, Twitch caps you to a bit rate of 6,000 unless you are partnered. And Facebook Gaming also does the same. They're actually kind of wonky with some of their bit rates and whatnot. But in essence, this right here, your downscale filter won't matter at all because we're not downscaling. We're at the same scaled resolution as is our canvas or our base. Now, when I go to edit this video, it is gonna look a little bit silly, I would say, in the black border over there now. I'm gonna be editing this video in 1920 by 1080p. And we're playing around with all these different scales and uh, aspect ratios. So since I'm exporting the video for YouTube, in 1920 by 1080 p they're gonna look extra wonky. However, on stream, these are some viable options. Now, if you're just doing some kind of a vlog, you know, we gotta change this real quick. This is bothering me, one second. Now, if you're just doing some kind of vlog or some kind of news content, you're doing a screen capture because maybe you're doing a tutorial on Windows 10 or something like that, then the first method that I showed you where you are at a base canvas of uh, 2560 by 1440, downscale to 1080p. Now, that is if you have a 1440 uh, monitor. If you're at a 1080p monitor, it's gonna be 1920 by 1080p respectively, and then uh, downscaled, but really at the same resolution of 1920 by 1080p. And that is a good option. But if you are gaming, I do think that the best option is actually to have those black bezels on the top because you can put all your social information and information that you would generally have overlaid on screen and just fill up those black borders anyway. Now, the interesting thing is if you're just making YouTube videos and not streaming, the dynamic video player on YouTube will actually scale for whatever the viewer's aspect ratio is. So it really won't even matter as long as you shoot the video in whatever resolution you want, then edit it in the same export it in the same resolution. So three things, record, edit in your editing software, and then export to MP4, uh, MP4 file or QuickTime if you're doing that for some reason, but MP, uh, MP4 is the desired uh, flavor of format for YouTube, then it's really not gonna matter. But if you are live streaming, then you're gonna be playing around a lot with these different options here. Now for me personally, after playing with this ultra wide monitor for about a month and a half, these are sacrifices that I'm just not willing to make. An ultra wide monitor is absolutely fantastic for video editing. You have a great view of your timeline and your tools. If you are just a PC gamer, but you don't screen record or live stream, you just game. An ultra wide monitor is fantastic. However, for online content creators, whether you're a streamer or a YouTuber, I have to say there are a lot of there are a lot of hurdles you have to jump through and there's going to be sacrifices to be made with all of these options. The image is either going to look stretched out horizontally or vertically or you're going to have those black bars on the top and bottom, which you can make good use of on your stream by filling it up with your socials and some of your overlay information. And again, if you're just making YouTube content, it's not that big of a deal because keep in mind, as long as you record, edit and export in that resolution that you prefer, it doesn't matter the aspect ratio, YouTube will do the work for you with their dynamic video player. But for me, it's just not worth having to jump through all these hoops considering I am on several platforms, especially in the near future here. I'm planning on doing a lot more streaming, a lot more live content. And having an ultra wide monitor, the little bit, the little bit of extra peripheral vision I get when I'm snap aiming in Call of Duty and snapping necks and cashing checks, taking more headshots than a cameraman and leaving more shells than a beach. Yeah. Oh yeah. Doesn't really warrant all the extra work I have to do while editing and exporting and trying to make sure my content looks good on multiple platforms. So because of those reasons, I am going to be returning to a 16 by nine wide aspect ratio. As I've been working with that for years, I'm more comfortable with it. 
and I feel like I don't have to make sacrifices. I hope that this video tutorial was beneficial for you ultra wide monitor users or somebody that might be looking at jumping from a 16 by nine wide to an ultra wide monitor just to understand some of the limitations, some of the different scaling options that you have to make your content actually look good for your needs. If you stallions did enjoy this tutorial, liking the video is greatly appreciated because it helps it to be seen by more people so this information will help them as well, which in turn helps me grow this channel. If you wanna become a member of Gamer Heaven, a stallion in the stable, so to speak, I do have three subscription levels with a ton of perks. There is a link to that in the description below as well as a join button on the video. And if you're interested in any merchandise because you're sick of holding coffee in your hand because it burns, I have mugs and you're sick of getting sand in your back and your crack, there's a nice beach towel over there. Link to that in the description below as well. And I will see you stallions and stallionettes in the next video.